me, Mario. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. Oh, sorry. Hey everyone, it's Count Like 2009. I'm doing quite fine, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. Last time through, we got a couple masks. I think we got, yeah, we got four. And in this episode, we're gonna go get a couple more. I'm um, quickly gonna explain these two masks. Kamaros, this is what we need to do. We need to go to West Clock Town after you get this one. And you want to go right here. And these two sisters, they'll be like, Don't bother us! The Rose sisters swim down through the dungeon. Over. What you need to do is put on this mask and start dancing in front of them. Link will be like, Ch I am the best dancer ever. Heck yes, I am them. <coughs> I love how they're learning from Link. Link's just like, I look so weird doing this, but... Oh, well. And the guard will be like, Mmm. And then when you talk... Bow. They'll be like, Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are our master. And they'll give you a piece of heart. You, s you stole the hearts of the dancers. I do not book. No. Master, you're so cool! So now that you have that, uh, and you talk to them again, they'll be like, Master, please come to bar for performance. Um, there's nothing else that we can do as of right now, but I'm going to quickly explain what this mask does. This, um, it's called the Bremen Mask. It allows you to march. And we're going to use this to get a really cool mask in a little bit, so I'm going to cut ahead to that. Um, but what we're going to do, we'll leave Clock Town. And this is the southern side of, um, our location is directly in front of us, but we don't want to go there yet. Instead, we're going to head over here, and it's almost morning anyway. But what we're going to want to do is, you're going to see these flowers, and you're going to see this Deku Baba guy. Anyway, if you're by these flowers, there should be a grotto hole, and inside it's going to be this giant pea hat. And where are these things? Okay. Oh, oh no. Get, get up there, Link. Okay, I need to rearrange my strength. And now we got a Deku Strike. Deku Strike, as you saw in my Ocarina of Time videos, make us stronger. But anyway. Alright, let's just attack. Come on. No health? Okay, they give. Wow. This is gonna be the closest I'm ever gonna be to dying, guys. Come on. You wanna give me hearts. Everybody loves Link. Heck, in this game. Okay. That's what I needed. I forgot the P hat. I think you can only do it during the day, so let's just wait. Let's go back down here. And this time, we can actually fight this thing. Die! I actually didn't think, no, you can do this. You can attack this thing. Like, I didn't know that. Like, I thought you had to wait till we get a certain item. Spoilers. I don't want to give it away. Die! 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 Okay. Okay. That works. Yeah, apparently if you attack it during the night, those things are just going to come up, and those things do a lot of damage. But those are the things that actually do kill you. It's like mini peahens. But anyway, let's go open this chest, and we're going to get a piece of heart. Need one more, but right now, ow, we're going to want to go up here, back out of this. And I'm gonna quickly explain. This is Termina. Just die. This is Termina's main theme, and I like it so much better than Hyrule Field. I think it sounds cooler. Um, when you get into this era by Melk Road, you're gonna notice some. Um, 
Where is it? That bird right there. That is a... What is it? I'm trying to remember what it's called. Come on, tell, tell me. That's a... Takuri, run! That bird steals your items! Come on, what are you doing? Just standing around. If it, if it does manage to steal your items, it will sell them at the curiosity shop. Like, it can steal your sword, or later on, spoilers, we're going to get a bot, we're going to get some empty bottles, and it will steal those, and you'll have to pay for that stuff um, later on in the game. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is, there's an owl statue right here. There we go. Now you can warp from this road, which is called Milk Road, to um, Clock Town anytime. Warp to either one at a time. Um, there's also these bushes that scurry away right here. I can hit one. Yeah, I'm not gonna get all these, I want to sell some. Okay, I'm stuck on 59. Um, if you see this guy right here, he'll be like, Someone was up to no good, Mr. from Block the Road to Romani Ranch. Sorry, wait another day. Um, what this guy will do is he's trying to break this, <gasps> I'm sorry, this giant rock which allows access to Romani Ranch, which is which is where we're gonna go, but he won't be able to do it until the final day, so we have to I'm just gonna cut ahead to that. Now that he is done, he'll be done. All right. Now that he's done, he'll be like, I opened the way. He's like, Oh, I'm exhausted. Anyway, we'll go through here, and that moon's really big right here. <sighs> this is. I don't know why I'm so tired. Then it gets like 10:30 at night. This is Romani Ranch. This is like what Lon Lon Ranch was in Ocarina of Time. Um, if you come here on the final or second day. You're gonna notice a couple things, but first and foremost, our location is directly in front of us. But you're gonna notice something in a second. Look! Isn't that your horse? And then go be like. The problem is, though, opponent is behind this wall, and we can't get her out. There's no way to. Yeah, no, there's no glitch. Um, what we have to do, unfortunately, is we have to be here on the first day, and if you talk to this girl, she'll be like, hmm. Huh? You. Who, who, who are you again? Romani, the ranch girl, is that you know? And she's like, Oh, uh, no. Shakehead. Um, if you're one, if you're wondering what is wrong with this place, uh, let me see. I'll talk to this girl, and she'll be like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm thinking a little. My little sister. My sister. She. she what shall we do? Our precious cows. If I thought I would come to this one, but when he said I should have, Crimea, the ranch owner, with attitude notebook. As you can see, she's all sad. And as you can see, this roof is off. If you're wondering what happened here, we're gonna explain. I'll explain later. We're not gonna be here for a while after this because there's no reason to. Um, that there is a way to open that to destroy that boulder. Ooh, why am I so tired? There is a way to destroy that boulder before the final day, but we'll get into that later. Because and all right, spoilers. That powder keg guy in Goron, he will help you destroy it, but he can't help you now because he's like, you're too small, so we need to obviously wait a while. We'll be coming back here, obviously, to finish this, but right now I just want to get this mask because this is one of the best masks in the game to get. Talk to this guy, and he'll be like, I heard it from my gramps. It says the moon's gonna fall. It's something that big. It should have took this red shell with it. Ah. Oh, well. I was it And he'll be like, my only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. Coco, Coco, loving grog with a you notebook. Know, what you need to do is pull out this Bremen 
mask and play and hold B and march around this place, get near all these little chicks, I believe there's ten, I believe, and they will follow you in a line. Uh, oh, there's one. Come on, little chick. <laughs> Link is a good leader. Yes, he. Yeah, he kind of is. Okay. Alrighty, got five. There should be some over here, I believe. Yep, there's one. Six. Or is it eight? I think it's eight. No, no, there, no, there's ten. Yeah, there's three right there. Come on. I don't want to keep pressing this button. I'm missing one. If you let go, they'll leave you, and it's like, no, don't leave me. Come on, come on. Where is that last check? Where is it? Where is it? Know where it is. I have to march around this whole place trying to find it. Come on, come on! I don't want to. I know I'm gonna end up letting go of B, then I'll have to do this all over again. Come on, come on! Is it over here? I haven't checked over here. Oh, come on! Camera. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, where is it? Oh. I'm missing one. This is ridiculous. Come on. Oh. <laughs> by you. It's got to be right over here. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh. It's way over in the corner. Finally. And yes. These guys will turn into killer chickens. And you talk to Grog again, he'll I uh, talk to Grog and be like, I don't really get it, but you do but just see these guys with really the crust at all. Why am I so tired? I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this. We got the one of the coolest masks in the game. You got the money of mine. What long ears has for the power of the wild spring forth? Yeah. Yeah! These guys are oysters. <laughs> Dinner time! Okay, there, she's a mute. She's a joke book. Um, I'm running out of time because I spent forever to do this. But this bunny hood, it allows you to run a lot faster, which is really cool. But I'm going to end the video now, guys. I'm just going to end up playing the song at time now. Go back in time to the first day because there's really nothing else I can do on this day. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. I know it's kind of a boring video. We didn't do too much. I know. Sorry. But anyway, next time on Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, we're going to finally go to the Southern Swamp now that we have, I think, everything that we need as of right now. Okay? See you guys then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is I am so tired? Oh crap, I didn't I didn't devour the room.